Hi, dear traders. The US dollar index is trying to settle near the level of 113 points. This is the highest value of the US dollar against a basket of six foreign currencies in the last 20 years. Investors remain interested in the answer despite the technical recession in the US economy. Yesterday's final report on the country's GDP for the second quarter confirmed the negative trend. Investors are pricing in the Fed's aggressive policy and its intention to raise the key interest rate. As a result, the greenback is becoming more attractive for traders who choose the carry trade strategy. In our video review, we will find out what events will shape trader sentiment early next week. On Monday, traders will take a close look at the final data of the manufacturing PMI for European countries. Preliminary estimates were rather gloomy, which intensified pressure on the already weak European currencies. It is quite possible that the final figures will be even worse. Meanwhile, in the US, the same data will be provided by experts at Market Economics and the ISM Institute. According to the forecast, the manufacturing PMI will remain at the level recorded in August. However, it may also increase amid a massive capital inflow in the USA from Europe. In other words, business activity in all economic sectors, including the manufacturing one, may increase. In this light, US assets may gain in volume. What's more, the Federal Reserve is not the only central bank that has chosen an aggressive approach to monetary policy tightening. The Reserve Bank of Australia is also planning to hike the, its benchmark rate. Notably, at the recent meeting, the RBA said that it was necessary to take a pause and refrain from changes. Nevertheless, analysts suppose that at the next meeting scheduled for October 4, the Reserve Bank of Australia will raise interest rates by another 50 po basis points to 2.85%. Such a decision may boost the Australian dollar in the short term. Although the Australian dollar will hardly recoup all the losses against a very strong US dollar, it still will grow. On Wednesday, traders will start getting ready for the publication of the US labor market figures, which are defined as the main indicator of the US economic condition. On Friday, the US Labor Department will disclose its official report. On Wednesday, all eyes will be turned to the ADP non-farm employment change data. According to the forecast, the indicator will show a modest increase. However, traders are likely to pay close attention to the non-manufacturing PMI data provided by ISM. Analysts expect that the indicator will continue climbing. Notably, in Europe, business activity in the key economic sectors, pr uh, primarily in the service sector, is falling. What's, that's why even a slow rise in the U.S. non-manufacturing PMI could be considered as a signal to open more buy orders on the U.S. dollar. The next week is expected to be full of important economic events. And don't forget to be always in touch with the latest news. You just need to subscribe to our channel. InstaForex TV provides traders with the most relevant information. Stay tuned.